Robots have played a critical role in emergency relief in Japan this past week. And starting tomorrow, the Automate 2011 show will be at McCormick Place. Yeah, robots invading Chicago. And they come in all shapes and sizes. And joining me this morning is the president of the Robotic Industries Association, Jeff Bernstein. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for and I know me. Jesse uh, Hayes as well is with us this morning. With Shunk, he's going to show us this robot in just a second. But 50 years of robots, uh, yep. you know, this is a big anniversary. It is. It's very exciting. The first robot was used in an auto plant in 1961, mm -hmm. and now GM, who had that first robot, just sent a robot into space. All right, so here we go, and I guess the evolution is to start getting them in the homes and, and uh, the yes. old Jetson superstitions that we have that they're going to control our lives. What is this robot? What does it do? Well, sure. So this robot's an example of a, uh, a service robot that uh -huh. would be used to... Um, research right now used to help elderly people stay in their homes longer, um, not have to go to a retirement home or um, any type of research. Also, uh, you know, some of the arms that do go up into space, like the Mars rovers, are prototyped out of arms like this uh -huh. initially. Uh, so what could this do in someone's home that would be super helpful? So if, if someone's, let's say, uh, disabled and can't get around their house uh, very easily, a uh, robot like this, of course, it would look a little different in the future, but... Um, it would be able to go and fetch things for them and um, uh, be able to, to just help them around the house. If they needed a glass of water, it could go get a glass of water uh -huh. for them so they didn't have to get up and do that. Okay, and that's because you have to use this remote control, or does it get a brain to tell it what to do? Well, so that's the thing. That's, that's what everybody's working on is to give the robot the brain, the artificial intelligence, to be able to do that. Uh -huh. For now, um, a lot of teleoperated robots, which remote control robots, so the human is actually... Uh, telling it what to do, but eventually uh, the robot will decide for itself mm -hmm. how and to do it. I'm yeah. sorry. No, no, sure. And Jeff, wh where are we? I mean, how, how far away is this? Well, um, I think we're maybe within 10, 20 years of having something functional in terms of elder care. But, I mean, there are other robots right now in our daily lives doing mm -hmm. surgery, uh, everything you do. You drove to work today, a robot helped build your car. If you drank your favorite beverage, a robot in a vision system probably inspected the label in the cap. Mm -hmm. If you took a pill, a robot might have packed that pill. So, a lot going on where robots are already touching our lives. And you don't, we don't even see it as much as that we could or should. And so, you know, what do you hope that people take away with this show and what do you what do you think is the next step well the key for the show is to teach companies how they can automate keep jobs here at home not have to send them to china mm -hmm. so that's one of our main messages at this week's show but we also want to show them where the future is headed so robots like jesse's are a, a great application of hey could a robot do that i mean do you think a robot could do something useful in your home you play with this and you figure out how to make that happen yeah well you know i always get afraid of max headroom you remember him the, the computerized <laughs> <laughs> You're not building one of those, are you? No, no, okay, no not at all. No, but seriously, uh, you know, at the, at this point. For this, I mean, it could just totally change the way we live. It, I mean, you're looking could. at this. It, it could. Um, you know, right now it's already saving lives and, and uh, helping people. Um, yeah. You know, so the military is an example. Um, doing EOD explosive ordnance disposal robots. Mm -hmm. um, Using the robots really so we're safe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so that the human stays safe. Um, things well, like uh, the uh, incident in Japan where the nuclear power plants are now uh, leaking radiation. So. Over the next several years, people are going to have to go in and, and take soil samples and test samples to test the radiation levels. A robot like this would prevent a human from having to be exposed to that environment. All right. Well, Jeff and Jesse, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck with thank your you. show this week at McCormick Place.